Now the professional painters love to use the five gallon buckets because it enables them to pour two or three gallons of paint in the bucket and stir it up for consistency. Then you'll see them using one of these, a roller screen that just hooks over the lip of the bucket and is perfect for evening out the paint on your roller cover. Now it makes it a lot easier when you're rolling paint on a wall to have a good roller frame and a roller handle, but this is a part that's really important, the roller cover. A lot of homeowners tend to buy the cheapest one that's available. They end up very frustrated, realizing that it just doesn't hold much paint and sometimes they just simply fall apart. Now here's a few tips on selecting the right roller cover and a few techniques on how to use them properly. When you're picking a nap, normally you want to start for the walls is whether there are different type of textures you're dealing with. They're smooth, they're rough, they're semi-rough. And mainly, I don't, the smooth naps are good, but the problem is they do not have very much nap to them at all, and they can't hold particularly a lot of paint. The best, the best nap to use is normally either a half inch or a three quarter inch nap. You have two different options, either a synthetic or a lambskin. The synthetic is normally about half the price of a landscape and is good for maybe typically one or two rooms or something like that or weekend projects. Now when you get into a large house and you're going to actually have to do your whole house yourself, the lambskin is going to be a lot better. It's about twice at the price, but as far as cleanup and holding paint and getting it on the wall, that's going to be your best application. Always keep your roller screen facing yourself. Get plenty of paint on it. Try not to drip. And again, try to stay just with an even, even stroke after you've got your wall cut in. Stick with a box and back roll. Get your paint on your wall and then come back and back roll. This will get the excess paint spread out evenly on the wall. Nice even strokes. Keep yourself squared up. Don't get ahead, don't cut too much, cut a little bit, roll a little bit.